Hi, I'm Joanne Litton with the Carroll County Extension Office, and today for Kids in the Kitchen, we're going to start off making candy bark. All you need is either some almond bark pieces or some melting candy wafers. I'm going to use the bark pieces today. When you're using these, you can melt them easily in the microwave oven. This is part of the fun we have in our microwave forage project. Simply insert into the oven, select your time, and then lower your power level to 50%. So we're going to go for three minutes, hit the power level button until we get the 50, and hit start. You always want to check for the minimum time, and it said three to five. So we will check and see. While it's microwaving, we'll put wax paper on our cookie sheet, and as soon as they're melted, we'll be able to add the peanuts. You want to open the door and stir. You do not want to overcook. It has all melted. Now I'm going to add in my peanuts. Stir until it's smooth and equally mixed. And then all you do is pour out on your cookie sheet with the wax paper on top and let it cool. You want to level it out till it's about a quarter inch thick. Ooh, doesn't that look yummy? The fun thing about bark is it's a great way to use up leftover chocolate and leftover nuts or other pieces. So I'm going to step aside and let Kelsey make the next batch. Hi, I'm Kelsey Holt, and now we're going to use milk chocolate wafers and pretzels. So we're going to use about a half a cup of ch milk chocolate wafers. And then we're going to put them in the microwave and watch them melt. Now it's nice and melted. We're going to stir and get it smooth. And all your chunks. All right, now it's time to add your pretzels. And then stir it up just like we did the white chocolate bark. Just dump right into onto the pan. You're just going to spread it out to about half inch. And then we'll let it set and get hard. And we'll have some milk chocolate with pretzels. So our bark has now set up and you're ready to break it apart. So just break it into lots of small pieces and serve. See how easy it is to make these holiday treats? Join us every day to see another recipe that we're going to make here in Kids in the Kitchen.